Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. In our last video, we ended up getting very lucky at Kraken in Deadman mode. We ended up getting three Tridents. I ended up selling one for 30 million 07. I'm keeping one for rebuild and I'm using one to kill more Kraken. Also, we are nearing the territory where all of my stats are basically maxed and magic will be maxed as I do more Kraken. I also brought some alchemies just so I can speed it up simply because I get less experience for using the Trident. But at the end of this video, we should most certainly be max in every single combat stat and most likely I'll also start questing piety desert treasure all those type of things at some point in this video I would assume or maybe I'll go hard on the PVM we'll see but anyways I want to choose another slayer task right here and we want to choose cave krakens yet again so this time I have 105 realistically probably around 130 with my relic and let's see if we can get more tridents sigil of the prosperity of of a kraken i don't know what this one does i'm sure we have had it in the past i'll check it in a moment wait that's 20 percent chance to is that a pk or no we good 20 percent chance to have a better drop chance this goes for a lot right now because what you can do is you can basically let's say barrage in monkey madness tunnels with this equipped and make a lot of money so this is a good one i might even test it out in the future videos we'll see what what what? I just got Mage's book. <laughs> Wait, I just got Mage's book of a crack and let's go. <laughs> what? Excuse me, I'll take it. Thank you very much. What? Oh, wait, one sec, I just got a trident back to back right after. Okay, I need to go to save zone. I need to go to save zone and save the, the book and the trident. What is happening? This is so good. I legit can't believe that just happened. I just got Mage's book into a trident back to back. This is a good day to be playing this video game. <laughs> Wow, okay, and we also got a Kraken Tentacle. Now, in the past, that would be an amazing item to get. Now, the reason being, in the past, Abyssal Tentacle was the best weapon, but then they introduced the VLS and then everything collapsed. But that's a tent. That's pretty damn good, actually. I'm happy with that. I don't really know what I can do with it. Might look to sell it, might look to use it. We'll see, but it's a tent whip nonetheless. And back to back, right after that, an Uncharged Trident. Another one. Is that number five? I don't know. I hope I can sell more of them i'll go lower and lower until well they're not worth any money left so i'm staying here though 92 magic <laughs> 93 magic five no six yeah six six more levels to go sometimes the math is a little hard Ooh, 88 slayer nice i am doing a little bit of a deal for a friend on discord now you guys remember i got this 30 mil for one trident i'm now gonna give away two tridents for 40 mil it is a little bit less profit for me but i think it's still an all right option since i am getting a ton of tridents anyways so pretty good profit for old school account here it is 40 million for two tridents now he is still not in my combat bracket so i'll actually keep the two tridents in my safety deposit box so as soon as he gets into my combat bracket i'm trading him the tridents that is basically the idea we're up to 70 million swapped on the main game very solid let's return to deadman mode all right i think i can do one more task of kraken pretty easily let's see what we are dealing with cave kraken very nice and let me actually see i still have a ton of points you see because i am gaining points after i complete these tasks so i can really take a bunch of them back to back to back really really solid let's see if we can get more luck honestly Ooh. Oh, there we go. Another one. Nice. Nice. I'm so happy. That's so good. I kind of wanted to get one extra just because I sold two on my last trade. So having one extra is always nice in case I find some more useful trades. But yeah, very happy with this one. We still have probably around 50 left on the task. And then after this one, I'm going to put some good offers into the grand exchange. And then I'll go for a very long sleep. I want to go at least like eight hours sleep. I want to get nicely rested before tomorrow. And I'm probably going to try to do a bunch of overnight flipping right before I go to bed. Oh, now I get it now i get sigil of the barbarians when i don't actually need slayer xp anymore that is a little bit unfortunate but i'll take it it's probably still worth a lot of money on the grand exchange what this does is it boosts slayer xp gain by 50 percent and then you can combine it with the sigil of the skiller that uh, increases the experience for a hundred percent so if you have both of those sigils very early on you can get to very high slayer very quickly unfortunately we didn't have that and i couldn't buy it on the ge but now we have it so we'll see what we do with it probably just gonna sell it well when i got major book i didn't know it was worth that much money so i have an offer for 100 million 07 for that mages book and obviously it is basically best in slot and there it is 100 million platinum tokens just confirming it on discord on the side very quickly and there it is 100 million let's go to deadman mode world to give him the book 
and here we're going to give the mages book. I think it's a solid deal for both parties, obviously. I think I will value 100 mil 07 a little bit more than a mages book here. And we're just gonna go through with this trade as soon as they confirm it. And there it is, mages book away, 100 mil on 07 obtained. Very nice, happy with the swap and uh, no problem. Right, now I'm gonna go head back to bed. I actually woke up from the bed to do the swap and I'm going to sleep for nice little eight, nine hours. I'll talk to you guys in the morning. All right, looks like one of my tridents sold overnight but nothing really else happened so I will uh, readjust some of these offers and another trident just sold for once again 1 million very nice I won't be selling anymore because I just needed the money but very happy with that decided to buy sigil of supreme stamina meaning that the questing should be a lot faster because I don't need to drink stamina nice what nah I killed this for the quest and I got giant champion scroll <laughs> That's like one in 5,000, I swear. <laughs> I'm uh, take it, I guess. Okay, let's keep going. Holy Grail completed. We are now gonna quest both Desert Treasure and Piety quests, just so I have them out of the way. And then we'll continue on with PVMing. Should take me maybe three, maybe four hours, maybe less if I'm really fast. We'll see. Uh, but this is the first one out of many. 87 player as well. Doing daddy's home for some very easy construction XP. You already get a lot of levels by just building the stuff he wants you to build. And then on top of that, you get a quest reward bonus as well. Uh, we need 20 so I can skip going through basically entire desert. I can put my house in Polnivnich and that's gonna speed up a lot of desert treasure quests. Now, I'm doing those first before I'm gonna go ahead and do piety because I can get some quest rewards that are gonna give me like smithing XP for example so I don't need to bother actually training this skill. So that's basically the idea. It's gonna take me a little bit of time but let's get at it. Look at this dude. Look at this dude splashing in that man mode. Look at him. <laughs> All right, that should do it. There it is, 4K construction XP up to 26. I can also very quickly talk to the estate agent to relocate my house. And now I have uh, these supply crates as well. So we said we want it in Polnivnic. And some of these are pretty useful, I think. You get a bunch of... I don't even have enough space in it. But anyways, that was a nice little thing to do. Let's continue on with the quests. All right, well, here is a waterfall completed, giving me a ton of experience that I don't need because I'm already maxed. But that's all right. Annoying quest because you need to be naked for half of it. Let's go on with the next one. Well, this would be the worst time to get caught, basically. Let's see if we are lucky. Looking good so far. There it is. That's Death Plateau completed. Now we're gonna go ahead and start Troll Stronghold. And that is a Troll Stronghold completed. Now we're gonna go on to Temple of Ikov. So one thing I've noticed while I'm doing these quests, I don't see any PKers. And the reason for it, I think it's because I'm in the highest combat bracket. We'll see how the dig side feels. But there is a big fletching XP increase from 1 to 47 just from the quest. I think most of the people think that people have already done the quest so they don't bother and a lot of PKers are stacked in one combat bracket lower than me they are like 100 combat capping their XP and just PKing in that combat bracket making it kind of free I think to just run around and complete quests for me maybe I just jinxed myself and I'm gonna die right here doing dig side but we'll see how it goes looking forward to it pretty annoying quest though usually I get pretty lucky on talisman during dig side but I've been uh, panning this I mean mining this soil for 17 mining levels and <laughs> there is no goddamn uh, thing that I need to get what is happening there it is i just had to complain wow all right never mind pkers exist since i don't really have much else to do i'm just gonna chill log out and continue with the quest a little bit later it is time to introduce all of you guys to another one of my accounts hi welcome mika old to the scene you may be wondering what the hell is this account and what am i going to do on it well i'm glad you asked this account is going to be my range slash defense only account this account can be used in a lot of situations it can be used for god wars dungeon it can be used for farming corporal beast it can be used for a lot of things the plan is to get to 100 combat exactly and not over that i am going to be using all these black chinchompas in the monkey madness tunnel in order to get some really good experience the reason why i'm doing this right now as you can see i have protection because i just leveled up in safe zones and now it is time to go crazy 75 range we're just casually getting 5 million range xp an hour very cool how satisfying is this 6.7 million an hour no problem at all oh my 
guy. Oh, it's so good. I just hope I get some sigils on this account. Could be really cool as well. Especially because these are all really high combat. All 100 combat monsters. I'm killing them very fast. So hopefully we get some sigils. And we just got Sigil of the Serpent, which is one of the most useless sigils. It just removes the anti-venom effect. Not very pock jump. So with my calculations, this account can get to 75 defense, 99 hit points, 99 magic, 99 range, and 74 prayer. And still be in the 100 combat bracket. That's what I'm going for on this account. I won't keep too many updates on it, just to not make this too boring. Your feedback really means a lot. If you guys want to see more of this account, I will definitely show more of it once we start doing God Wars Corp, stuff like that. But even some training process like this, just including it in the video, I felt it was necessary. So you guys see what I do on the side, alongside my main account. And we just got Sigil of the Storage, which I think can automatically bank some of your items. But I think it's the worst one. We'll, we'll check that later. What? I just got the Dragon Halberd with Sea Turtles. Alright, that's free money right there. I'll take it. Almost out of chins, got me all the way to 67 defense, 84, well, 85 range, and 72 hit points. I have another batch of chins ready, and I'm gonna do another trip. There it is, 90 range, and this is pretty much where I got with one hour of protection on my alternate account. 76 hit points, 70 defense, 90 range, and I had this prayer from before. Very happy, honestly. This was pretty successful hour, and now I'll go back to my hidey hole and probably just AFK. Really excited to show you guys some content on this account in the future. All right, returning to dick site. Let's see if the PK is still around. Well, I don't think I needed to TP from that guy, he's level 109, but oh well, we're going back. There it is, the dig site completed a bunch of experience up to 54 mining, and we also got some herb XP which we need for future quests also, so now I think there's the Tori's trap on the menu, let's go ahead and get items for that. I'm lacking smithing requirements, so I'll quickly do the knight sword for the free smithing XP, definitely faster than doing any natural smithing training from 1 to 52 smithing. Now we can go and do Tori's trap, arguably one of the most annoying quest simply because of how annoying it is <laughs> uh, yeah let's begin it Ooh, okay this guy's not picking let's be honest perfect all right that quest is quite hard and now on to desert treasure if i can quickly oh yeah what do i want i guess smithing is probably gonna be the most annoying to train higher it's not that much xp anyway so let's just take it in smithing my agility is already 72 so don't need it in that either 57 there quest is completed on to desert treasure first diamond I always like to go for is an ice diamond because it's technically the hardest to get in my opinion. That will be the very first ice diamond. Very nice. Let's see if we can get lucky with the lock picks. Usually I'm very unlucky with this. So let's just begin. Well, third time's the charm. There it is. I got it straight up. Whoa. So they changed this room around but it's no longer multi. In the past I would bring a cast, tag a bat and then just kill the dude. But I think I'm strong enough to just straight up uh, tank the guy. So the first version is very easy and the second one gets a little bit harder. All right, there it is. I used two restores to kill it not a bad problem at all and that's our second diamond very cool how do i get out of here i guess i just run and teleport a lot free work maybe i need to do that guy as well they completely reworked this these all look updated graphically and this whole dungeon looks upgraded graphically so i guess it's a cool place i am so happy i ended up buying this sigil of supreme stamina it is the best purchase of my life this questing like has been a breeze honestly i don't ever need to worry about bringing staminas everywhere just click this every time it's available and that's it Pretty hard fight here with the zoo, but I'm maxed, so it should be easy. I don't really remember what you pray if you use the range method. I'm pretty sure there's just melee with the eagle eye. And that uh, I'll take some damage, but I should easily kill him here. And uh, then we only have the easiest diamond left, and the DT is done, so let's go ahead and do it. All right, fella cough up the diamond there it is blood diamond the last one is smoke diamond i'm honestly not going to grab all of my diamonds because i'm scared of losing them so i'll do this i'll do the full run and then i'll grab all of them fun fact you do not actually need to have ice gloves to kill this guy all you do is you hit and you run so if you're using the quest helper guide on uh, on rune light you don't need to worry about the ice gloves here this is how you do it your arrows do turn to ashes though so reap rune arrows there it is last diamond over here and where it is it's in my inventory perfect let's grab all of them, put them on the pyramid, and finish the quest. My agility is fairly high, so I don't think I'll be failing much. Look, look, look. The strange is that he likes you. Look, look. I can actually kill him. Let's go, Mika versus stranger. Who wins? Okay, I'm gonna turn protection off to make it fair for him. Here we 
we go. Who wins? I wish he was like level 100 combat so I could get something cool out of him. If you guys don't know when you have diamonds on you, this fella tends to show up and just follow people. So this guy was angry. Well, not really, but yeah. So every time you're playing deadman mode, you want to look forward for your escapes. Now, in this part of the quest, when you need to put the diamonds in, if you were to die, I basically need to do the whole quest again. So one of my escapes, boom, agility right here. Another one of my escapes, face mask, boom, it's right down here. And then I can pretty much just get a teleport off and it is very easy to escape. A lot of people fear this area, but realistically, it shouldn't be too dangerous. Boop, bop, bada boop, pow. All right. If you spam click, you can still fail. Today I learned. I was spam clicking. I was spam clicking the floor and I failed. Unbelievable. Now, don't fail me now, man. If I fail now, I'll be a sad gamer. So I'm gonna say spam click, spam click, spam click. Woo. If you fail here, it's actually a disaster. Oh my. I th okay, I thought it. Oh my God. Be Yo. I'd be so angry. Right, here we go. Sandra, here we go. A big one. There's a treasure completed anytime now. Any moment. There it is. DT completed on the account. Beautiful. I don't need to be on Ancients right now. I mean, ooh, 96 magic. Sick. I do have the sigil in my bank where I can freely just change it around as much as I want. So happy to have this one done. Now it is time to go ahead and do some piety quests. Jungle potion completed. Few levels in Herb Lore for free. The next one on the list should be Shiloh Village. Here is my end of the deal. I don't know if I included that in this video or in the last one but anyways i received 40 million 07 and i'm giving away two uncharged tridents so there it is no longer in my possession and we're gonna go on continue with the shallow village but first i need to get 20 crafting decided to quickly cut my sapphires and we are all the way up to basically almost 40 crafting nice now i can finish the quest i actually did a little bit of planning for the future and obviously i'll have to have fairly high combat level to qualify for the 1v1s and i'm about to do one small favor and you get two huge xp lamps in one small favor but you need to be level 30 in the skill in order to cash those rewards in basically so I'm gonna quickly try and get 30 farming by just raking the patches and using super composts on it not actually planting anything so that I can then use rewards on this skill so I never really need to train it because 100k I don't really need to use it anywhere else but you see I'm already level 6 I'll do this on a couple of patches and we should be good to go dun, dun, dun. Mm, 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 mm. I made him teleport to Megalul. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they fixed this. You used to be able to interface stall whilst moving to prevent the check on this bridge. But they fixed it. It stops you when you interface stall. You can no longer walk and look at your skills. I would have no idea when they did that. There it is. Shadow Village completed. I believe that is all the requirements for one small favor. Let's do that next. Let's start the one small favor here. I have the stamina relic still. And this should be a very short quest, right? Let's get at it. If you know, you know. Uh, anyways, the one small favor completed. And... And let's see the experience. So I said I wanted the farming. I was contemplating between Herblore and farming, but throughout my Slayer, I've gotten a ton of herbs that I can just quickly train up, I think. So I'm gonna go farming here, get 100k XP, 150k XP in farming, and I think I should have actually... Damn it, my bad. I should have... Uh, hold up, let me go to Grand Exchange. I should have attuned the Sigil so I get a little bit more XP. Oh, wait, hold on. Never mind. I've had it attuned this whole time. So we're chilling, we're chilling. Let's uh, boom, boom, and uh, farming, boom. So we are 62 farming. Me. Don't think I'll ever need to train this and I can just focus on other skills now. Nice. There it is. Murder mystery done and on to the next one. Always leaving the easy quests to last. It's my preferred way to doing things. There it is. Very solid. 2.5k. And I think now I have everything to do King's Ransom. There it is. The last quest I want to do for a while but it's not fully completed. A nice amount of experience however it doesn't really matter because we are maxed. Now I just gotta go grab my melee gear and we need to kill the training ground sort of thing and then we are fully done but we also got an xp lamp that i could put in some sort of skill let's see can't put it in herb lore can i put it in farming yep it's going in farming Fifty thousand. i didn't attune the sigil it is what it is let's quickly go ahead and actually unlock piety and be done with questing for this tournament and there it is okay a bunch of experience 100 defense 101 strength and my guy is running somewhere i don't know where can i use piety there it is i can wonderful yeah let's just get to safety very quickly and wrap this up there it is, a little bit of questing to end this episode. I really hope you guys did enjoy this one. Some really big drops and very good progress, to be quite honest. We have completed two of the most important quests, as well as made a lot of old school money. And in the next episode, the things will spice up and I will be showing you probably more of the alt account progress as well. But not just progress, but PVMing progress. So I'm really excited for the future. And if you are as well, please consider subscribing, as I said a few times already, almost at 100k, and it would mean a world 
world to me and it doesn't really take long to do. But that being said, I'll see you again tomorrow with another video. Stay safe and bye-bye.